It's the weirdest thing to describe people you do, you know. What do you do for a living? Well, if you haven't heard of me, this is gonna sound weird. I paint rocks for a living. I'm Bubba Sorensen. I'm the artist of the Freedom Rock. I saw the movie Saving Private Ryan. I was just blown away because not being in service, that was the closest I'd ever been to war. I'd always had a soft spot in my heart for veterans. I've had family in service. And there's this huge rock back in my home county, and now it's north of where I live in Greenfield. And it always got graffiti on it. And Memorial Day was coming up, and I thought, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something special for him for Memorial Day. Never really painted a mural before, but I'm gonna ask permission to go out there and paint over this graffiti that's out there and paint a thank you to our veterans. After that, it just kind of steamrolled into an annual tradition of me going out there and painting something different and saying thank you to our veterans. And I'm on the doorstep of the 25th anniversary of, of painting the Freedom Rock. I am Maria Sorensen. I am the co-owner and business owner of Sorensen Studios and the Freedom Rock. And we started Sorensen Studios in 2008 after I graduated from Iowa State University. And so we've been operating that business since, since then. Most of my day is filled as a mom role. I do a lot of multitasking, just doing a lot of the correspondence, emails, phone calls, billing, invoicing, scheduling, um, that's all me. Indy is our firstborn. She is 11 years old. Her full name is Independence, but we call her Indy. She is definitely her dad's daughter. Like, she's very creative, very artsy. I would say her mind works the most like him, and I can see a lot when she will start a project, and then she, and in that project, she sees another project, and it's just very much an artist's mind, but very creative, very brilliant to see. And then there's Michael, he's our middle child. He is eight years old. I get all the time that he looks like me, but I don't know, I'd say he's a pretty good uh, mixture of both of us. He's more like me in the sense of organization and he definitely likes to paint as well. And he, he's our worker. Like he, you give him a job and he will do it and complete it. And I think one time he went with Bubba, painted, he had to tell him to stop because he just like, what's next? What, what do I paint next? And I keep painting and I think, it was uh, obviously not an air-conditioned tent, and it was summer, and it was hot, and he was like, we're gonna stop, bud, so. And then our last one is um, Liberty, and she's one years old, and she's just really transitioned into the family well. We're on the road going a lot, and she just rolls with it, so we've been blessed there to have her. And she's painting, so that's good. She's already painted. <laughs> As soon as we started having kids, I knew I wanted to involve them in the project in some way. So the first part of that was I put a paintbrush in their hands, painting the original Freedom Rock. So like Indy was our firstborn, so she's a year old. I put a brush in her hand out at the rock, she scribbles all over it. And then eventually, as they kept getting older, I could like paint a little area and then they'd focus in on that area. I've just wanted them to be involved in a work aspect part of it. And then a big part of it, I put their initials in all of them. Sometimes I put their birthdays, sometimes I put their names, sometimes I put their initials, but I hide them in every piece of artwork because whether they're with me on site or not, they're with me. When I was painting on the Freedom Rocks, my three goals were to thank our veterans, promote tourism, and then the third one was feed my family. And I just put that out on the website. I just wanted everybody to know what my ultimate inspiration is and in continuing to do this work, and that's it. Especially as the, the older two have grown up a bit, they've wanted to help a lot more. So they'll go on site with him to paint, of course, but um, they also have came with me to a few meetings or call people back. My oldest is definitely listening in on a lot of those conversations and trying to teach her you know, communication through that get done with the Freedom Rocks in Iowa. And I have a lot of communities reaching out saying, you know, listen, we realize we won't be on the Freedom Rock tour, but we've got a lot of town pride. We've got veterans here. Is there something you can do? Can you come paint a rock for us? And for all these towns that want a town pride rock or want, you know, maybe it's a business or a school that wants, you know, a mural or a rock that kind of just shows pride in what they're doing. Absolutely. The Bubba's Rocks, they're more of a client driven thing. You like the idea of a Freedom Rock, but maybe you want it in front of your school or your business. It's not an official part of a tour and project, so it's it's more your project. And so I want you to kind of have control over what the content is of it and where it goes and where it sits and 
and there's no limitations. Some guy in town already has one, you can have one too. You know, it doesn't have to be patriotic. It can be just your family name. It could be, you know, a portrait of, you know, a memorial. We try to go with them as much as we can in the summer a lot. So the kids and I will pack up and, and do what we can and go on the road with them. But, you know, during the school year, that's not really possible. So that's where Bubba's Rocks came in after the Iowa tour was complete. We were like, what can we do to be more at home? Well, we know there'll be a few murals here and there to do on the road, but we'd really like to kind of bring it back to painting and studio. Then the kids can learn and see even more. If you're interested in something like this or the man-made version or you know even a mural the best way to do it is to reach us at our website which is you know bubbasrocks.com and then on that site you're going to get a number that you'll be able to get a hold of maria and she would kind of walk you through the steps of you know what this is going to take what it's going to cost what the difference between you know having an actual rock and having a man-made rock are what are the benefits what are the downfalls you know what shipping is going to take those are all things that maria is going to go over with you and, and kind of get squared away i want to thank everybody for supporting the freedom rock tour specifically thank you for being interested enough to go around and see even my murals and these bubbles rocks and and continuing the effort and continuing pride in our country, pride in, in, in our veterans and their service and, and honoring our, our veterans and their families.